Why do I call the Almighty, the only High, the King, all power, a high Yah? I used to call him Yah, Yahweh. I never called him Yahqua. I never called him Yahuwah. I never called him none of them, those names. But I did call him Yah. Why I stopped calling him that? For one, I had a vision. And for two, the scripture backs it up. When you go to Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, it reads, and it will tell you, Ahaya replied to Moses, or the power applied to Moses, I am who I am, or Ahaya Asha. Ahaya, say this to the people. I am, or Ahaya, has sent me. That's clear as day. That's the name that was given to Masha. Not Moshe, not Moses, but Masha. If you look up our ancient paleo, our ancient Ibri, you will see with our alphabets that the name is Masha. Because Ma is part of the alphabets. And Sha is part of the alphabets. Ah is part of the alphabets. And Ha is part of the alphabets. And Ya is part of the alphabets. That's how you get the name. Ahaya. And Masha. Some don't know or understand that. The reason why it's Ahaya. Because Ah is giving a singular person's notion. In our ancient Ibri scriptures or Ibri language. So that's why it's ah hi ya. To let you know that it's a singular person. A singular deity. So there's no way there can be a trinity. That knocks off everything when you take it back to the Ibri. All praise to a hi ya. But the name ya is tied to a Canaanite idol. A moon god. Uh, and the name Yahweh was created by the Jews, the Jewish people. That's their god. Because they always followed the practices of Canaan, the Canaanites. So when you say Yah and Yahweh, you praise in the Jewish God who made it a divine name not to be spoken. But Ahayah said, my name shall always be spoken and heard and known in reverence. All praise to Ahayah. 